Hi, my name is Julius. I'm the product support manager for RJB Hydraulic Hammers. Today I got an HK330 10,000 pound impact class. Today we're going to go over how to gas the accumulator and also what should come in your toolbox when you get a brand new hammer. Alright, so let's get started with this. Basically, you got a couple valves here. Go ahead and take a 15 16 socket and you're going to take off this valve right here, this cover for this valve. Inside, is a little pin valve with an O-ring on it. You're going to take an Allen key that comes in your toolbox and you're going to make sure it's tightened first. It should always be tightened, but just verify that it is tightened before you take off the head cap here. This is how you check the gas. And for video purposes, I went ahead and I loosened everything up. Just know that everything is painted on here, so it's going to be a lot tougher than you think it is. Screw this on, get it nice and tight, make sure you don't have a lot of wiggle room. And you're going to take this valve on the side of it, and you're going to crack it open. And you're going to open it all the way, and then you'll get a reading off of it. Now, I gas the hammer up to 800 because the top max out for the hammer is 842, so I leave it at about 800. When I just checked the gas right there, I was right about 800, so the gas is still fine on this. And then when you're done, you tighten up that valve back up first. Make sure it's completely tightened. And then you just go ahead, unscrew your gas valve. cap back on. Then you're going to put the secondary cap back on and make sure it's tight. Don't over tighten it when you're putting it back on because it's threaded to the valve itself so if you over tighten it it'll actually connect to it and then when you go to actually take the valve out again in the future it'll pull the valve out with the cap and then you'll lose all your gas.